Okay, so now we have the, the basic framework, all the, the reference planes. Now it's time to start putting parameters on them. So floor plan, we will add a dimension for the door inset from the exterior face of the wall to the, what will be the exterior face of the door, and then the thickness of the door. And while I'm here in the plan, we'll add a dimension that will eventually be the trim width on either side. And I believe, okay, so then one more parameter, or two more parameters, which are both represent the trim projection. And we'll do that from the face of wall out to this other reference plane. And the same thing on the interior side. Now, if Revit doesn't actually click on the item that you want it to click on when you're doing these dimensions, all you have to do is hit the tab key. Just hover over the element and hit the tab key until it cycles through all of the options that you have available. And then you should be able to select the item that you want. Now, I'm going to pull these out just a little bit so that we can see them a little more clearly what they actually are. All right. So there's all of our dimensions in the plan. We'll go to the exterior elevation view, and we will add a dimension for the trim width across the top of the door. Now, I don't need to put a parameter you know, on the, in the elevation for the trim width on the sides, because I did that in the plan. And so that is really the only dimension that I need to add here in the elevation. So while we're here in the elevation, I'll go ahead and add the parameter for the trim. So you click on the dimension, you say add parameter, and then we're going to call this trim width. It's going to be a type parameter, and we'll put it under dimensions, and we'll say OK. So now we'll go back to the plan, the floor plan, and we'll add the rest of the dimensions. Now I have the trim width on the top of the door. Now we can use that same exact parameter for the two sides. You can apply the same parameter to multiple dimensions. So we've got that dimension there, and we'll say trim width. And then we'll click on this one, and then say trim width. And this is the total uh, width of the door there. And so for this one, we're going to add a parameter called trim projection. And that's how far it's going, the trim is going to stick out from the face of the wall. So I say OK to that. And like with the trim width parameter, I'm going to use this, that same parameter and apply it to two different dimensions. So I'm going to click on this one and also apply trim projection to that side. So the trim is going to be the same on both sides of the door. Now we have this parameter here. I'm actually going to change the scale a little bit so that we can see these things better. And so click on this one. This is going to be our door inset. This is going to define how far the door is going to be placed into the wall, whether it's flush with the face of the wall or if it's sort of inside the wall itself. So we click on that dimension and add parameter and call it door inset. And it's inset from the exterior face. And then the last one here is the door thickness. And so we'll click on that, say add parameter, door thickness.